Hi friends, this is Vamsi and the time is 12 o'clock here in Ireland but I wanted to share something that excited me. So I have configured side-to-side -side VPN connection between my Azure VMs and my Oracle VM virtual box. Um, so I would like to share that with you. So these are my Azure, sorry, these are my Oracle Virtual Box where I have my Azure DC running on it. And I have my on-prem SQL. I just named it as on-prem SQL so that it will be easy to understand. So this is like, I am just trying to mimic the on-prem environment. I don't have the on-prem on environment, right? So I just created the a kind of on-prem environment for myself where inside the Oracle Virtual Box, I installed the domain controller and one SQL instance, uh, named instance. So that is running on 2019. And my Oracle Virtual Box domain controller is part of Contoso.com. That is the domain name what I created. So if you see here, let me refresh once. This is my domain. Uh, I'll show you my domain name. If I go to the top. So this is my mission name. I didn't change the mission name. Uh, so I just left as is. And this is my domain name. Contoso.com is my domain. And if I go to the SQL machine, uh, it is part of Contoso.com. And my missions somehow is getting shut down automatically. I don't know the problem. I need to work on it. But leaving that, leaving that aside, so I am now connected to, let me just give me a second. So now I'm connecting to my virtual, sorry, Azure virtual machines. So let me show you my configuration of virtual machines. So this is my configuration of virtual machines where I have site to site uh, is a resource group what I created uh, for these machines. And this is site SQL one, uh, which is the node one. I mean, the, where, the SQL in, where the SQL is installed. And this is my site test. Uh, it is acting like the domain controller. So I now just logged into the site SQL one. So here is my site SQL one, and I'll show you uh, how it looks. So this is my configuration, uh, IP config, I'll show you all. And I'm part of site SQL one, and I'm part of mcts.com domain. So my Azure VMs are part of mcts.com and my Oracle Virtual Box VMs are part of contoso.com. So now I'm establishing a connection between my Oracle VMs and the Azure virtual machines with site-to-site -site VPN. So I already created site-to-site -site, uh, VPN for that. So I'll just show you my, so for the site-to-site -site VPN creation, we need virtual network gateway, which I already created. So this is my virtual network gateway. Uh, and this is the public IP, what I need to pass inside my routing for domain controller. So and then uh, we need local network gateway so for the local network gateway i need to pass let me show you the connections so this is my okay i am showing you publicly so uh, this is my public ip i need to pass the public ip and then uh, i need to have my connections open so i just created the connections um, I, uh, between the oracle virtual box and the azure uh, VMs using the connections. Uh, I mean, I mean to say when you're creating the connections, you need to pass virtual network gateway and the local network gateway and you have to uh, share a key password uh, for the connection establishment. So I did that. So now if you see I am on uh, Oracle virtual box uh, domain controller and my Virtual machines, Azure virtual machines are part of 10.10.series. .10 series. So I'm just trying to ping that I'm showing you. Uh, so this is working fine. This is my, um, what can I say? This is domain controller of Azure virtual machine. And the other machine, if I go to my, uh, let me show you the site SQL one, uh, site SQL one. And see here, I am part of 10.0.0.5. So, I'm going to my Oracle virtual box and I'm pinging uh, domain controller of my Azure VM and it is working fine. And in a similar fashion, I'm connecting to my SQL, site SQL also. So that is my proof to show you that uh, my 
configuration is working fine. So it is site SQL, site SQL one dot mcts.com, I believe. That is the uh, that is the uh, complete name, uh, fully qualified domain name. If you see, I am getting the response. So now uh, my goal is to configure uh, the connectivity between Oracle VirtualBox and the Azure VMs, which I'm doing it right now, uh, which I have already configured. So now I'm connecting to my Oracle VM instance, SQL instance from my Azure VM SQL box. So let me show you again. So this is my 192.168 series is my Oracle VirtualBox uh, series. So I'm connecting with SQL authentication. It's working perfectly fine. So now let me connect to um, the SQL instance. So it is site SQL one. There you go. So I'm able to connect to my SQL instances of Oracle Virtual, Virtual Box and Azure Virtual Machine as well. So now if I want to perform a kind of migration, I can do it. So my uh, virtual box is on 2019, whereas my Azure VM is on 2014. So this is how I should, uh, this is how I configured. So if you want more information, like how to configure this, you can reach out to me. So on my WhatsApp, I will share my WhatsApp details. Um, if anyone is interested, they can uh, WhatsApp me on, uh, 9739093905. So I will share the details uh, in the YouTube video and you can contact me if you want to configure like what I'm doing. Okay, thank you friends. Thanks for watching. So I can do the migration, but it's very simple. So it's not greatest thing. So that's why I'm not sharing here. I just wanted to show you the connectivity purpose. So how to connect and all. So I just, I just wanted to show you one more thing. So uh, this is the routing what I made use of this routing interface and this is the VPN what I uh, uh, what I created to establish the connection between Oracle VMs and Azure virtual machines. Okay, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.